I made this edge lit sign the other day and somebody asked me how I got the outline to cut. I don't normally do software tutorials, but I'll uh, go ahead and show you how I put this together. For whatever image I'm looking for, I always look for a silhouette. So let's just scroll through here and find a flag that I like. That looks like it'll be a good one. I'm just going to save this one to the desktop. And of course it's a WEBP. Which means... I'll have to convert it to a JPEG. So GIMP is a free program kind of like Photoshop. And all I have to do is export it as a JPEG. Doesn't matter about the quality, really. We'll just bring your JPEG over here. Just right click the image, trace image. I'm going to ungroup. We'll choose this outside vector and I'll offset it about a three millimeters. This offset will be our cut line. We'll mark that red. I'm going to make a rectangle, we'll stick with 70 millimeters by 18 millimeters. The image will have that about <coughs> About six and a half inches, that's good. We'll select the square, then we'll select the outside or offset vector. We'll line that vertically, get it centered vertically. Then we'll weld that together. I'll come in here and we'll look at our nodes. I'll add an extra node right about here by pressing the I key. Got to ungroup it first. Come right here. We'll Use the I key to insert a node. Then I'll then I'll select all these nodes. We'll go ahead and hit D to remove those nodes. I think I'll go ahead and remove that one too. There, that'll be a base that will fit down into the. LED bay and LED base. The black layer. I need to make that blue because I've got those. I got the blue layer set to 355 millimeters per second at 20% power, and the red is set to 8 millimeters a second to 50% power, and that's for my 60 watt CO2 laser. And this file is ready to go to the CO2. I 
I will go ahead and add this to my library since I've got it fixed up here. I'm going to call that line 3. Alright, that's all there is to uh, cutting your acrylic the same shape as your engraved.